Some of you guys are starting to look a bit worse for wear. So I got a new one. I got the kid version, which is less than a hundred dollars Australian, or about seventy US dollars. Uh, it comes as it is, uh, with no motor, no ESC, and no servos. But it does come with a propeller, which I didn't use. I used the same propeller and motor and spinner I used for the previous U glider, which is a lot nicer. These are 7x4 blades, rubber banded, so they stay in. Uh, and even on 2S, this has a lot more power than the uh, stock setup. But it's also a lot heavier. So, this is what I did uh, in order to make it balance where it should. The ESC is a stock ESC from the old U glider, and that works well enough. It sits up the front. Then the battery sits a lot further back than normally would in the new glider. This is where the servos would normally go. Now we've got the battery there. The servos sit even further back behind a hatch that I had to cut to get them in. They are simply pushed through the fuselage to the point where they actually come out on the other side behind some glass fiber tape. This means that they sit quite low, which means in terms that they can, that the control rods um, are much, much straighter, which is crucial to get the servos to work well. It's also helped by the fact that the tail boom stops here rather than probably about here, because the tail is pushed back as far as I could get it uh, to provide, provide some much needed weight aft. Also got the receiver. This is a Lemon RX LM0051U um, for a Spectrum with built-in altimeter and vario, which is good fun when you're thermaling. Highly recommended. The casing doesn't work, it doesn't fit in here. Uh, and with this one, you just gotta make sure that the electronics doesn't touch the uh, carbon fiber boom. Because this one conducts electricity and will short done things out. A bit of tape. And the normal sits upside down like this. The leads from the ailerons connect straight into the uh, receiver. Now the little uh, hatch I had to cut to get the servers in is simply put back and taped first and when I'm really happy with it I may or may not glue it back in again but the tape is enough I think. The propeller blades are held with rubber bands which in turn are held by steel wire which goes through the um, propeller blade, well, I drilled that myself, uh, through the propeller blade with an angle and then CA glued into place. And that works really well. Highly recommended. All up weight is about 370 grams with this LiPo. And on 2S that allows me to climb at about 45 degrees without a problem. You could go 3 years on this, but it's never felt the need and it would stress the ESC more than it really needed to. Well, there's lots of space for a bigger one, so I suppose I could. I probably will, you never know. There's nothing unusual about the wings except they have separate aileron servos, and that is a good idea. Now, why would anyone go to this length for a U glider? Well, it's because it flies really well, and it's well worth the price, because it's an excellent thermal plane. It feels small and nimble, so you can fly it in, in confined spaces, uh, but it can still thermal with the best of them. It's just an... I just love flying it. It's also a lot of fun on a slope in light winds, because it doesn't need much wind at all, yet it still has the motor, so if you were to go get into trouble, you can turn it on and get yourself out of it, which is really nice to know when you're flying around. But there are a few things that slopes in less wind than this thing. It's just so much fun.